Marvin, a lot of tough afternoon. Yeah, a tough afternoon in terms of the goals that you concede. Um, yeah, that, that makes it difficult. Um, you know, the, the first one, again, you know, there's, there's a mistake from us when it, when it gets pulled back. Something that, that we work on ever so often. Um, you know, the first bit of play from them is good play. You know, and sometimes you have to hold your hands up and say that. And at the time, I thought, Do you know what? They've worked it well. It's a good goal. But then looking at it back, um, you know, it's avoidable. But, it, you know, it's, it's the better of the two goals. The second goal, no. Um, not good enough at all, you know. And there was a, a mini inquest into it in there. Seven of us behind the ball. You know, three or four of them in the box. And somebody's three, eight yards out, centre of our goal. And there's no desire to to get tight, to get contact, to defend it. Not even close enough to make a block. Three players around the back, you know, Oscar to be first picking up the man, and I've got two players the other side of that doing absolutely nothing. And and that for me, is it a concentration thing? Um, I'm unsure, but, you know, it's, it's something that, that needs to be learnt from. Um, very, very quickly, but it, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen at this level of football. Um, and unfortunately, it has. It's the same mistakes, isn't it? Week in, week out. And, you, you know, it's... Yeah, it's... It, it is... I, I say it's a mistake. It's just probably, you know, just a desire to do it. I mean, that's probably the best way to put it. Um, a desire to actually, you when know, you speak about it, when you go back there, you're a defender first and foremost. So, so find an opposition player. You know, if you, don't, you do that, you've done your job. Um, but to not find an opposition player, you know, makes it ever so hard. And I feel for, you know, the ones who put in a real, real effort today, a, a real effort, um, fantastic goal as well from Harry and some of the play out there was very, very good. And, and they worked extremely hard, you know, Toddy in there with Harry and absolutely fantastic today. And, and I feel and I feel for them because, you know, to see that goal in the 83rd minute in that manner, it's, it's just it takes the wind out of yourselves. And just like last week, isn't it, when it comes so late in the game, it makes it hard just to come back from? Yeah, it makes it difficult to react to that. You know, obviously we managed to put another sub on this time because, you know, fortunately enough, we didn't have to use two in the first half. So we put Ross on to, to try and chase the game. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously the later you can see the goal, the, the harder it becomes. Um, so yeah, it made it more difficult, definitely. Three games, three losses now. Mm -hmm. You don't want that to become a habit. No, of course not, and it won't. It won't become a habit. You know, obviously, yeah, three league games and it is three losses, two of them against, you know, two of the big hitters, so to speak, um, in the league. But, you know, the, the frustrating thing is we've ran both of those close in the last two games and conceded late goals. You know, today we've got seven first team players injured, and, you know, that, and then that happens. So it's frustrating. Um, you know, it, it's why we have a squad, but no, listen, that, that won't become a habit. I can assure you of that. And, you know, come May, we've achieved what we've, we've set out to achieve. So, you know, the hard work needs to kick in, you know, needs to come more streetwise. Um, and, you know, we need to get some of these injured players, you know, back out there to, to help us. But as I said, you know, <laughs> up until the 82nd minute, you know, our play and, you know, moving of the ball, etc. And as again, scoring a great goal, we're well in the game. You know, and then and then that happens. It's just just switching off. It's frustrating because you know, as you say, you have performed well against these two sides, mm -hmm. losing an early goal again in the first fifteen minutes today, and then mm -hmm. losing late goals. You know. Yeah, yeah. You lose you lose a, the first goal as we've spoken about already, but the, the late one's the one for me. You know, when we freshened it up as well, and I've got you know fresh legs in there and should be fresh minds. Um, and, and as again, we don't we don't get tight to the man. It's just. You know, I, I I can't begin to understand why. You know, and it's something that you hear us shouting from the side all the time. Get contact. You know, it's something that we always work on, and we need to start taking those lessons on board. So otherwise, you know, I have to think about what I'm doing when when I'm setting a team because we have to become reliable. And, you know, yes, it is a young group. We understand that, but you know, we can't keep you know conceding the same sort of goals and, and not learning the lessons. You talked here about seven players missing. Mm -hmm. It was Regan Mimnock. Craig McGuffey were added to it. Gavin Riley out today as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, doesn't rain it pause when it comes to the injury front. Um, so yeah, you know, missing kind of those three. Lewis Gibson's not trained, uh, you know, for best part of ten, eleven days. Uh, and, and fair play to Lewis because he does a fitness test. You know, strapped his ankle up and he says, "No, my gaffer, I'm ready to play if I'm needed." Um, obviously, you've got to be mindful because he's not actually trained. But you know, we get him on the pitch. Um, because we we need we need the bodies we need to freshen it up, 
Um, and like you said, then you've got, you know, Daniel Church. Um, you've got Carl Doherty. You've got Jack Bryden as well, um, who are also injured. So it, it's it's tough, Sandra, as you know, when you've got that amount of injuries. But, you know, they'll be back very, very soon. And as I said, they'll, they'll improve the squad um, and, and the team because, you know, we need to go on a win and run and, and, and start with Kelty Hearts next Saturday. Um, you know, it's time to get going. And it is, you want that positive reaction again, that it is looking for that reaction a week at Kelty. It is, you know, we talk about positive reactions and, and you lose a game last week, you said you run them close and concede a late goal, I think it's the 88th minute and, and you get a reaction in, in, in today because you go behind and it's easy to then think, oh no, you know, we're going to go into our shells and they don't, they actually go the other way. And they come out and they puff their chests out. And as I said, we got back into the, goal, the game with a fantastic goal. Um, and some of their, their play was, was brilliant today and, and their work rate um, was fantastic also. So it's frustrating because it's another performance, so I think, in the main that they've performed, but you come up with no points. And it's one of them that's probably going to take a bad performance and a win. You know, that, that, that's the way it's going to work. But as I said, you know, keep working as hard as you are working, um, you know, and, and it will turn. Uh, and, it, and it will have to and you know I'm fully confident that it will um, so listen it's going to be a, another hard week of training you know we'll, we'll look back at this game um, and then we'll get ready for the Kelty Hearts game Harry Cochran captain mm -hmm. today as well I think he's taken over that role hasn't he? Yeah he has um, to be fair to Toddy um, it was after the Motherwell game the first home game um, you know Toddy's been captain because you know he's kind of been a continuation from, from before and you know, it's not something that he, he really, I don't just want to enjoy because, you know, he does it, he does it for the team, but it's not something that if he could choose, he would want to do. Um, so he had to think about it then and he said, you know what, I'll, I'll keep it. And then he came in on Monday of this week, I think it was, and said he just wants to concentrate kind of on his own performances and he, he, he doesn't think, you know, being captain's helping. Um, so, and, and fair play to him because he could have kept on wearing the armband and, you know, as he said, his own performance was suffering due to it. So, yeah, you know, brilliant from Todd. He came through and he was honest. Fantastic. I don't expect any less from him. Um, and, yeah, you know, Harry Cochran will take it on now.